Okay, kitties. Look what we got in the mail. It's the October Lavish Bath Box. Boop. I like my Lavish Bath Box. Oh, first thing we see. Look, you guys are getting it from my angle. So, this one was lovingly packaged by Katie, CEO, founder. Thanks, Katie. All right, first thing we see is a is a gritty card. Uh-oh. Nothing really travels good when it travels to the land of lost over here. It feels gritty. Oh no, I see some black sprinkly stuff. Something busted. Shit. Good old United States Postal Service, man. As soon as they see a nice, pretty small box, that becomes the football. All right, let's move along. So here you have it on the back of the Witching Hour box. It's got all the stuff in here, but I don't want to cheat. So we're not going to look at it just yet. All right. Oh, shit. I know where this comes from. I know it. <laughs> all right. So all you guys that don't know, um, huge fan. I know exactly where this is from. This is a bath bomb from Twisted Allure. I have been staring at it on my Facebook <laughs> since she posted the little sneaky peek of it. I've been gawking at the damn thing. Okay, so he almost made it complete. She always has really cool stickers. I really like Twisted Allure. She does these cool stickers, you know, just... See, look, United States Postal Service. When I go to open them, he's going to fall to pieces. But it doesn't matter. We're going to demo his ass anyway. They just, they're not gentle with any packaging for some reason, especially around the holiday season. Now that the holidays are starting to come in, they're just going nuts. They don't care. They're, they're kicking the damn things down the block. All right, so that, of course, was from Twisted Allure. If you guys want to check her out, just check the description in the bottom of the uh, video here. Next thing that looks like a bomb. Oh, it doesn't look like a plastic cauldron. It, it's a cauldron itself. So it's all a bath bomb. Okay, so this company, which is Whipped Up Wonderful. Whipped Up Wonderful went and didn't use a plastic cauldron. She actually made it out of the out of the plastic mold. Innovative. Hell yeah. Your little ingredients thing hit there on the bottom. Oh, even directions. Look at that. Unwrap stick in tub. It doesn't really say that, but that's basically what your directions would be. You know. Make sure you put water in the tub first, guys. This smells really good. This smells really, really good. I didn't even get a whiff of the Twisted Allure Kitty yet. Hang on, let me smell the kitty. Ooh, now I recognize the smell of this. This smells like Water Miss Rule. That's the fragrance. It's gotta be. It's gotta be a Water Miss Rule fragrance. I will go through everything as soon as I dig everybody out. Um, this box actually has a lot of goodies in it this trip. Like, oh, more goodies than I thought. Okay, so who do we have here? Feels nice and light, so I'm gonna say it's... Oh, I thought it was a body uh, butter. It's a whipped soap. Hell yeah! Been a while since I've gotten my hands on some whipped soap. Oh, he's dead. His whipped died. <laughs> I tell you, things don't travel well when they travel here to the land of the lost. They just don't travel good. So, <laughs> he was whipped. We're gonna have to give him a couple shakes there and get his ass back to normal. But uh, I'm one-handed, so you guys have to give me a second. Let me try and crack this bad boy open. There we go. We'll see if we can get him. All right, so it looks like we got him open. Whoa! Holy crap! It's kind of cool looking. It's soap, so I really don't want to, like, play with it, play with it, and, like, you know, like, really mess with it, because it is just soap, but I do definitely want to smell it. And the whip soap is from Melt Away Bath Bombs. Ooh, that's a really nice smell. It's kind of sweet. Hmm. There's something else to it. You definitely smell sweet. I want to say like something sweet and sandalwood is what I smell in it. But we're gonna we're gonna actually go through the fragrances in a hot minute here, guys. So that is our next item. Then we have, which we can't pass up on this big old bottle. We got a big old bottle of, what are you, buddy? Body wash. So here we go. Nevermore. <gasps> I know what company this is. Oh, it is Nevermore. Oh, I thought it was something. Okay, I thought it was something else. My apologies, Nevermore. So it is Nevermore uh, 
body company. Nevermore body. Mm, okay, that's a, that's a different. I do, for some odd reason, I want to say Bath and Body because everybody does Bath and Body. So Nevermore Body is the name of this company, and as well, this one is also on Etsy. Every single one of these companies in here, they're on Etsy, so you can always find them on Etsy. Some of them I may have down below, some of them I do not have down below, which are new to me. Um, Twisted Allure, obviously, I have. Ugh. Okay, let's get a whiff of this. So, oh wow, never more, holy shit. That is actually really nice. And it doesn't look too, it doesn't look too liquidy and it doesn't look too, sorry, I'm not, I'm missing the viewfinder here because I'm trying to make sure I don't spill it. See it? It doesn't look too liquidy and it doesn't look too thick. It looks the perfect consistency of a, of a body wash and it smells awesome. I'm really liking the smell of that one. All right, so I may be going on and checking out Nevermore. You know, Croak the Raven, Nevermore. You ever hear that? Edgar Allan Poe story. All right, so here we have down here a big old mamma jamma. God damn, wow. Oh, cool. It's a big potion bottle. So when you're done with your stuff, you get to keep your bottle. And I actually think this is a heavy-duty glass bottle, too. That is always wonderful, ladies and gentlemen, people who are out there making products. A keepsake is always awesome. Okay, so this here is from Nature's Whimsy. Nature's Whim Whimsy? Am I saying that correctly? I hope I am. If I'm not this company, I apologize. But I guess it is going to be a bath soak, so I'm assuming it's kind of like a, a bath powder. Into the tub, gently stir until the salts has dissolved. Oh, it's bad salts, pretty much. Cool, I'm really liking this. And it says witch's brew scent, which from what I'm seeing down here, the orange patchouli, lemongrass, clove, and cinnamon is the witch's brew smell that I know and love. Um, witch's brew has become really popular over the years, and people do it in all different types of fragrances. They just call it witch's brew. And uh, it's all different types of fragrances and stuff, but that is the original smell of Witch's Brew that I know and love. Here's a funky-looking little bat. So we got a little bit. Uh, I'm going to assume that he is Bubble Bar, because that's what he feels like. He feels like Bubble Bar. Um, no, I did not smell the bath salts. <laughs> Georgia Charms. Okay, so here is one from Georgia Charms, also on Etsy. See, she's got her Instagram right there. Pinterest as well, look at that. And you can also find her on Facebook. And here, new coupon codes. Yeah, anybody wants one? Georgia Charms. Cute little bat. Let me see if I can smell him. Ooh, see, look, he's got a little hole in the back here so I can take a whiff. It's like a cheat. Okay, so he actually smells really good. He's more on the perfumey side than, like, the um, regular kind of autumn or fall type fragrances that you would normally smell, like pumpkin or spice or anything like that. He's more perfumey. I really like the way this guy smells. All right, so I like the way this guy smells. This would be a definite thumbs up in scent wise. Whoop, whoop. This was awesome. This smells good. So Nevermore is definite awesome, good smelling product right there. The whip soap, <laughs> who lost his whip? <laughs> Hocus Pocus over there. Hocus Pocus whip soap has a beautiful fragrance to it. I'm definitely gonna go play with that. Uh, I gotta say everything in the box, I'm sort of enjoying. So, I think everything in the box you're going to probably see some sort of demonstration of or know that I have used it because so far everything in the box looks like right up my alley. What a keepsake. Always a good idea. Here is the the cauldron. Actual cauldron. The whole bomb. You just drop it in. It's an actual whole thing. Cauldron. And then Twisted Lowers. You can't go wrong with a Twisted Allure product. I'm so glad that she grabbed the Halloween theme one this year. I am so, so glad. So let's take a quick look at the card, guys, and let's go through. So we have the Witch's Brew Bath Soak, which is really fizzy soap and Halloween's right. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing that it is kind of like bath, like, like bath bomb dust and salt all in one type deal. And that is n Nature's Whimsy. We have the Absinthe Body Wash. 
<laughs> good little green fairy. Star anise, fennel, cinnamon. Eh, you just can see it. I'm not going to read it all to you. It's going to bore you to death. But I really like the smell of that. The, the absent. I like the smell of that. Abs, absent. Sorry, I always say that wrong. I like the smell of absent. Nevermore, Body Co. Another one on Etsy. You guys can take a quick look there. Because some of them I don't have linked down below. I don't think I have anyone linked down below except for um, Twisted Allure. She's the only one I got. Superstitious Bath Bomb, Twisted Allure. And yes, it, then it is the uh, popular Lord of Misrule fragrance. There it is, right there. It is the popular Lord of Misrule fragrance. Wow, literally, I said it, and it is right there. That is Lisa, Miss Twisted Allure, right there. We have the Hocus Pocus Whip Soap. And oh, that's got a couple of things in it. Look at that. It's scented in uh, cedarwood, sandalwood, leather. Amber, cashmere musk, topped with a hint of marshmallow dusted with sparkling mica. Look at that. That had a bunch of things in it. And that was from Melt Away, Melt Away Bath Bombs. Then we have the Whipped Up Wonderful, who did the actual cauldron bomb. So this is a cauldron bubble bomb. Uh, drop the cauldron in the bath, release the fizz, then use the cauldron, crumble up underwater. Oh, okay. So the way she did it was... This portion of it that looks kind of, it looked like an odd bath bomb to me. Like it didn't look like it was normal. It almost looked kind of like mushy. That's because this is bubble bar. So this is bubble bar holding in your bath product, like your, your bomb. That's a cool idea. I am liking that. So the bubble bar is surrounding the bath product. The bath fizzy, basically. Hold on, helicopter going by again. Welcome to New York, everyone. So that's actually a pretty damn good idea. So after you drop it in and let it do its thing, obviously your uh, bubble bar will be waterlogged by then, and you'll be able to just to pick it up and crumble it up and turn that water back on and go nuts. And it really does have a nice... It's got a really nice fragrance to it. Um, you, do smell, you can kind of smell cinnamon in it. And that one has in it uh, Mr. O'Connor and crumbling in the water, great luscious bubbles. Sounds like a mystical blend of rich berries and dry green base. And a dry green base. I don't know, it smells good. All right, and then we have last but not least that little bat bubble bar. And that is from Miss Georgia Charms here. She's also on Etsy. Crumble hand painted that under the tap water. Bubble sent it in. Lime orange with berries, cherry, leafy, leafy green accents, and vanilla. So in we're just gonna from now on because I got two companies here that, that use just green base and leafy green accents. We're just gonna call that kind of earthy fragrance that you smell green. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it from now on. We're just gonna call it green. <laughs> But here you go, guys. This is the Lavish Bath Box. I am getting excited. I'm going to go take a bath and play with some of these products. Um, uh, I think I'm going to go with that cauldron thing first. As much as I love Twisted Allure, I am really intrigued by how this is going to work out. Yeah, you know, I know Twisted Allure is up there. I know this, this woman works her ass off. I know how hard she works. I know exactly what this bomb's going to do. I do know my postal people are assholes. And I do know that they break stuff. So I know when I go to open him, it's got to be gentle. But yes, note, he will fall apart a little bit. No due to any of the companies or Lavish or Twisted Lore or anything like that. It's because postal service is rough right now. And especially we have holiday mail. So holiday mail, they are getting a little rougher. Uh, so when I go to open him, it's got to be extremely gentle. So when you see him again, he may not look the same. He might lose an ear. I don't know. Tip of a nose might come off. Who knows? But, uh... I'm intrigued by this guy. I know this is going to go well. I know this very well. I have done many of her products. I'm very intrigued to find out how this works with the bubble bar around the outside and the bomb in the center. So I think this is going to be my first one we play with. And we'll set him off. We'll also take in our soaping products. And uh, yeah, and then we'll go through the rest of the box. Hopefully we can go through the whole box before Halloween is over. Because uh, I'm really excited. I'm so glad we did get this before October was over. I was getting close to the end of October. I was getting so nervous. But once again, Lavish has kicked ass in the awesome product department and has gotten some amazing companies to uh, whip up some goodies for us. 
So I hope you guys are excited as I am, and if all are in agreement to see the Cauldron Bomb first, just leave it down in the com comments which ones you want to see first. I'm praying you guys all see the Cauldron Bomb, but if not, I'd like to know what you would go for first in this box if it was sitting in your living room at the moment, like it is with me. What would be the first item that would intrigue you enough to use? Obviously, I know plenty of you are going to say the cat because he's beautiful, he looks amazing. A lot of you are going to go for the bubble bar, but uh, I'd like to know what you guys... What would be your first thing? Now, if you want to sign up for the Lavish Bath Box, it's awesome. There is a link down below you can use, or you can just go to lavishbathbox.com. You do not have to use my code. You don't have to, whatever you don't want to do. If you use it, great, wonderful, amazing. Don't feel obligated to. Jump on, get yourself a Lavish Bath Box, because it is the best way to try different products from different companies. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have six different companies right here. Now, one of which I know very well, and some of which I've heard of, but not tried. So, this is a great way to get your hands on other items from other companies that you may have not have known, heard of, didn't know they were out there because there are so many out there, or maybe just didn't know if you would like the product, so didn't want to purchase just the one product to see if you'd like it for the shipping costs and this and that, and whatever your tiff may be. Lavish Bath Box is the perfect way for you to try an amazing amount of items from different awesome cool companies that you probably would have not got your hands on before, and they may turn out to be some of your favorite companies after you've tried some of their products. Like, I am definitely going to go check out Nevermore because I'm loving the way this smells, and I love the, the consistency of it, the way it looks already. They didn't make it watery, it doesn't look crappy, it looks like she knows what the hell she's doing. So I'm going to go check out her shop actually right now while I go fill my tub and get ready to throw in my cauldron bubble bomb thing here. And uh, I also want to check out this company because I want to check out her other uh, products. I just want to see what they sell. I'm kind of intrigued by them. I have seen Georgia Charms, um, and I have not seen this one either. And I'm loving the fact that she used this glass container here. So I'm thinking, hmm. She pulled out all the stops, whipped out a glass bottle, not a plastic bottle. And uh, maybe she's got other cool items that I'll be intrigued with. So I'm definitely going to go check them out. And when we're done doing this one, we're going to check out this one as well. So uh, wish me luck. Hope everything goes out well and uh, there are no duds. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Again, description box down below if you want to check everything out. And Katie, thank you once again for sending this amazing box. What all these cool little gadgets in it for me to go play with. I'm going to take a bath. I'll talk to you guys later. Good night.